Hello everybody, this is the first video I've ever posted on my website, so I hope you enjoy it. This is how to build a simple holiday wreath. There's three things that I really like to do. Find creative uses for scrap wood, get my son involved in anything woodworking, and then make Christmas projects. This project combines all three. These are the materials that you're going to need for this project. Glue. Either wood glue, Elmer's glue, or some type of hot glue. I used wood glue because time wasn't an issue and I was working with my son. I used wax paper to line my table, but newsprint or anything you might have would be fine. And then some type of scrap material. I use these wood scraps that are cut off from 2x4s. You could use shims, you could use cut up pieces of cardboard, anything that's long and slender that you can orient in the patterns that I'm about to show you. First step is to trace an octagon or circle onto your wax paper. You're going to trace this about the size that you want your finished wreath to be. For the first wreath, what you're going to do is you're going to lay out an octagon. You're going to lay out this octagon in sections of four. So here are the first four sections that I've laid down, and this is essentially going to be the first layer of the wreath. The next step is to apply glue on the ends of each piece. Then you're going to lay sections on top. And so this is going to create the second layer. And you can see that they overlap, and this allows you to keep building and give your wreath some depth. As you add layers to your wreath, move your pieces in slightly towards the center. This will give your wreath a lot more body. This is a great project for my son Christian. He's only four years old, and although he can't cut or use any of the tools yet really effectively, he can definitely spread a lot of glue, and so this is a great project for him to learn how to put things together, assemble things, and use the glue. Once you're done with your layers, you need to hold all the pieces together and allow the glue to set. So this is an improvised clamp, an old rusty pan, and something heavy to put on top. The next pattern that we're going to use is a pentagon shaped wreath. And so I basically assembled five pieces together and did my best to assemble a rough pentagon. Continue to add layers to this wreath, doing your best to keep the pentagon shape. This wreath is a little bit more abstract, but it's weird because this wreath actually, I think, ends up looking a lot better than the first one that we built. Christian quickly became an expert on spreading the glue and on building wreaths. He quickly built his own octagon wreath, and it came out pretty good. This is a finished octagon wreath. When it was all done, I primed it, then I shot it with hunter green spray paint, and then glitter spray. Yes, glitter spray paint. That stuff should be illegal. I garnished it with a dollar store wreath and a dollar store flower or mistletoe, whatever that thing's supposed to be. Looks real nice, though. This is a pentagon shaped wreath, and although it's more abstract, it actually has like more of the natural evergreen shape that you would see. And so once again, I primed it, painted it, shot it with some glitter spray, and garnished it with a dollar store bow and a dollar store mistletoe. Here are all the wreaths that Chris and I worked on together, and we've accomplished all of our goals. We found a great use for scrap wood, we got my son involved in woodwork, and we made some great Christmas decorations. These will look great in Grandma and Grandpa's house, or in our house. I had a great time making this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for your support. If you decide to try this on your own, please Facebook me. I'd love to hear about it. Merry Christmas from SteinerWoodwork.com.